Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High in Christ, blessed. Uh, my name is Brother Athaniel from the Chicago camp, and I'm doing my live video on why I joined IUIC. Uh, the first question, why and how long have I been with IUIC? I joined IUIC because of the leadership. Uh, I've never heard the Bible being taught in the way it's been taught. Um, just the way the bishops and the leadership breaks down the scriptures uh, resonates with my spirit. And uh, I get a lot of understanding. I've been with uh, IUIC two years, Chicago camp. Uh, second question, uh, what made me look for the most high? Um, I think it went both ways. I think the most high was looking for me. Um, but at the time that I did find the most high, I was going through a lot of things, uh, depression, uh, not knowing who I was, uh, things that, um, that I was going through, I didn't have answers for. And, uh, so, you know, I, I started searching and I found IUIC. Actually, I learned, uh, the truth from another camp, uh, but they didn't really look, <laughs> uh, too good to me. So, uh, I found IUIC and, um, I, and here I am now. Um, what scripture sealed the deal for me knowing that I was an Israelite? Deuteronomy 28. Actually, it's a bunch of them, but Deuteronomy 28, 68, and, well, 48 too, um, really sealed the deal for me. 48 says, therefore, you shall serve your enemies in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron on, my, on your neck. And I was like, whoa, you know, that really happened. And then how we got over his slave ships in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Wow. You know, that that really sealed the deal for me. Um, fourth question is, why do I continue with IUIC? Um, I stay with Israel United in Christ because of the teaching, the leadership. Oh, it is uh, it's just unspeakable. Uh, the things that I've learned. Uh, the brotherhood with the brothers. I've met so many brothers that have gone through some of the things that I've gone through. Um, the unity um, and um, things like that. That just that that's just I, I never really known true brotherhood according to the scriptures. So that's what I learned, and that's what I continue to grow with. Uh, the last question is quote my favorite scripture. Um, I have a lot of a lot of favorite scriptures, um, but if I can, I'll read this. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 8. It says, he raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit, inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he has set the world upon them. And that that scripture right there really resonated with me because, um, I, as I said before, why I even uh, was looking for the most high because I was poor in spirit. Um, knowing who I am, knowing I'm Israel, just boosted me up. I'm talking about now I got now knowing who I am, you know, that gives you confidence, of course, you know, um, it gives you something to live for because now I have law, statutes, and commandments that I can follow. And the only thing I can do is get better in life. Um, so this is why I joined IUIC. I'm just uh, making my live video um, just to show the world, you know. Um, I'm, I, I'm in the truth. I, I am an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Um, and I'm trying to follow these laws to the best of my ability. Um and if anybody else has questions about this, just open up your Bible, you know, read Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. You know, if that resonates with your spirit, um, go, go, go. I'm doing a, I'm doing a video. Go, go, go. Close my door, please. The young Judites. <laughs> the young Judites. Um... You know, if you have any questions, you know, you question in the Bible, you know, go there, find out your nationality, see if that resonates with your spirit, you know. And once you do, you know, you have requirements, Deuteronomy 10, 12, and 13, 
you know, what does the Lord God require of you? But to fear him, to love him, and to follow his commandments, and also to repent. You know, that that is that's the main thing, repentance, you know, changing, you know, according to first Kings eight, forty six through forty eight. You know, if he, if we don't repent, he's never gonna hear us. We we'll never go back to our homeland, which is Jerusalem. We'll never get there. And uh I'm just on a mission to help the brothers, you know, raise up the one one forty four the best way I know how, to share this gospel and to uh, also keep getting better through my repentance. And to also let my light shine. Um, Shalom, Israel. Most high in Christ. Bless you all.